Once in every man's life, there comes a time where he needs to stand up for what he believes in and put his money where his mouth is. Justin Kelly bet $500 he could swim from one island to another. Everyone thought he was crazy. Nobody said he could do it. So with no formal training and a high chance of death, this is the swim for glory. All right, guys, today is the day. No turning back now, do or die, so let's just do. I'm gonna be swimming from right here all the way out there. No turning back, no excuses, play like a champion. Gotta do this, man. 500 on the line for myself, and now Kevin Martin has bet another $2,000 on me against Perky. I can't let my boy Kmart down. We gotta get that sweet, sweet Perky money, so let's just go, baby. It's gonna be tough. It looks pretty windy out there, but I'm back in train today. I think he's got it. He looks ready. Rip! My favorite train. Please don't die. There's one thing I've learned in my life, if there's one thing I've never seen, is trains don't usually do well underwater. So I'm not hopeful. This blew up very quickly. I did not quite think it was going to gain the attention that it did. I'm just a guy who grew up in the water and I'm just thinking, I can do that. There's a million things in the ocean that wanna kill me and eat me and make me their lunch. There's fairies that wanna hit and kill me. Um, and all the meanwhile, I'm just basically trying to swim you know, hundreds of meters in open water, crazy current to another island that I've never even done before. Now at this point, we have 2K on the line between Kmart and Bill. It pretty much went down like this. He said, I'm interested in this bet. Bill said, name it. Kmart said anywhere 500 to 2K. Bill just wrote back, max. But I'm not gonna let my boy down. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Plus, that perky money is just so sweet, so sweet. Everything was planned out perfectly. Absolutely nothing could go wrong. Me and Mally are gonna follow him along in the two-person kayak to follow him over, get some content going over to the island. What we didn't think about is how three of us were gonna come back from that island. So I'm not sure what the game plan is here. <laughs> Cock. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. We're taking the boat. We are going to be paddling near train, so if he does end up drowning, he will be saved. And also, we're gonna get some footage from the boat. If he dies, it's a pretty cool story. If he dies, we have a way better chance at making poker news. So that's our goal today. Uh, if he dies, it's all for a bigger cause. Guys, we have Maddie here in the front. We are kayaking over. The water is terrible today. The current is strong. The waves are big. Uh, I didn't think Train had a chance yesterday. Now I'm only here to see if he can survive. It's not always what it looks like, you know, from a distance, right? You know, from looking at it from other areas. You know, it's just like, oh, whatever, that's not a big deal. I mean, you know, this, it's pretty water and it's cruising a little bit. And then you get up to it and you're like, that is moving at like tens of miles an hour. Um, there is definitely no doubt in my mind that I'm going to have to swim against a very heavy current. You just, you just gotta do it, man. I mean, I, I think if you just coast through life without actually pushing yourself, you're, uh, you're just missing out, guys. So, uh, win, lose, fail, or die, we're doing this. Please don't die. The conditions were terrible, but I just wasn't going to turn back. Oh, fuck. Okay. Stop, we were at shore. Oh, wait, it pushed you back in. Yeah, we can't, like, there's, uh, and a kayak will not, we cannot do this with a kayak. We fucked up. I mean, I don't know, you could have picked the worst day in the last the month to do this. This was the worst day to do this challenge. We're gonna capsize, we need a boat for this. What the fuck were we thinking? We can relax and we will end up at shore very quickly. Like, the only, I think the only way we can do it is like in a dinghy, but even then. Okay. I guess we either find a dinghy or do it tomorrow or or whenever the hell we can. <laughs> um, it's a ah! pain. As soon as he breaks these rocks, t done. Done. Well, I mean, part of you guys being there is the fact that like, while I think I can make it in the event that I have an issue, I can't just be out there and be like, oh, there's a drone watching me die, that's cool. Chances of train completing this last night was zero. 
we come here today, nothing has changed. <laughs> Might be negative. It wasn't going to happen. It was just too dangerous. The only way this was happening was if we had a motorized boat. Literally, I'm not kidding. The current is one of the strongest I've seen since we've been here on the island. I just don't see any feasible way that this ever actually train gets there. None. Literally zero. Yeah, so we just called up Bill. Apparently, he has a little dinghy. It's a small boat that we can take out instead of the kayak, so it'll be a lot easier for us, be a little bit more for safety. So we're gonna try to do that. I mean, you know, my confidence is uh, definitely not going up uh, every time we encounter another problem, but that's not gonna stop me. And uh, we're just gonna keep doing it. It's gonna be added pressure then if we do get this dinghy. Well, I guess we just have to go into a holding pattern too. Also, the later in the day it gets, the less happy I get because that does also affect the current and the tide as well. So this is uh, not ideal to say the least. It's it's, that's, the, that's the only thing about this bet. Like if there was no current, I think you'd do it fairly easy. You'd be tired, but with the current, it's like, you know, the current going fast enough, like when you're in those pools and people are just swimming. Yeah. It can, it can get that fast. So you just be going nowhere, you know? I know, man. I think, you know? <laughs> or going all the way out there, you might be in the middle of the ocean. Who knows? Like, and now Kmart's money's on the line, so like, now, just ex now I gotta uh, do it. Now, now I'm pissed. Now I'm like, all right, let's do it. You're, you're, you may have a saving grace is like, it may die down or it may change at, at, by the time you guys do it later on in the afternoon. Is it gonna be today? Yeah, today. Yeah. So it was decided. The bet was happening today. We just had to cross our fingers that Bill could get us a boat. Uh, so right now we have Bill Perkins came through today. The current was so strong this morning. Me and Maddie couldn't even get out in the kayak. So Bill is getting us a dinghy. The bet is going down right now. Train 700 meters against the current. Some people have faith in him right now. The elements have changed. I'm starting to wonder, can he do it? It is the actual moment of truth. It has been all day in the making. It's been insane. This thing blew up last night. Perkins and Kmart got involved with the prop bet. We had to postpone it this morning because we couldn't even get my spotter kayak out there because of the current, because of the waves. And now I have a water bottle, some sunscreen, and some goggles. Wish me luck. <laughs> we are on the boat. We are leaving land, bringing train to his start destination. <laughs> the water looks rough, but he looks tough. What will happen? At the end of the day, this uh, started out as <laughs> just, <laughs> It's just me running my mouth, and now it's turned into Perkins is betting 2,000 bucks against me with our buddy Kmart. I can't let Kmart down. Um, we want to get some of that sweet perky money in his pocket, and to be real with you, I can't let myself down, man. We just got to swim. We just got to do it. If he dies, he dies. Like, the only, I, the only way we can do it is like in a dinghy. But it may die down or it may change at, at, by the time you guys do it later on in the afternoon. I think he's nervous, chat. I think he's nervous. Okay. He has to swim literally like through this channel. Oh my god, he's gonna get annihilated by a boat. Holy fuck. Bye guys. Here he goes, look at that. Is that Aquaman or is that train? Chat, he's in the water. Holy fuck, it's a boat! Oh. He dodged a bullet there, chat. That could have been lights out. Do all the luck, train, keep going, baby! Oh, he's fucking exhausted. It's like two minutes in, not even, like 30 seconds. He's fighting the waves, he's fighting the elements. He's doing the breaststroke through the waves. Like an absolute legend. Yeah, he's getting fucking annihilated by the water right now. Annihilated, salt water in his mouth. Patrick, how you feeling? Tired. He's tired, do you feel confident? Focused. Focused. Fuck confidence when you have focus, chat. That's all that matters. Came by the house to close this morning. Homie, don't play that shit. This money's going to Kmart. No! Halfway. Okay, so we're halfway right now. Fatigue is only setting in right now. It becomes a matter, well, matter of mind over matter. Uh, if he's mentally strong enough to do it, he will. It's an amazing feat, chat. It's an amazing feat. Uh, there's a lot of people who did not feel Fat Train had it in him. He is throwing the middle finger to the world right now. Train, tell the people back home how you're feeling tired. Lots of different parts to this journey. Some way harder than I thought, and some a little smooth sailing. Are you doing this 100%? One hundo. You know nothing is going to stop you right now. I mean, if a shark actually takes off my entire leg, then maybe. So you're saying with one leg, you would not complete this? Fuck you, I'm doing it. Let's go! 
There's the beach. There's train. That's in one shot, chat. That's in one. That's in one screen right here. Here it is. He's done it. He's fucking done it, chat. This. Can he stand? Ah! He's done it. He's fucking done it. I can't believe it. The world can't believe it. The world is shocked. The impossible has been done. The glory has been achieved. What do you have to say, Train? I'm going to Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. He's in there. He's back, Chad. I'm here! He's back. Some parts of the current was really strong. And other parts, not so much. But hardest part is when the waves come in. You know, you try to like catch a little bit of the down wave and maybe put an extra stroke. But then you kiss the back of that wave and you feel like you just lose all your progress, you know? That first 15 or 20 minutes when you're when you just realize there's no stopping and you can't catch your breath and your rest period is just, quote, figure it out. It's a little jaunting. It makes you question some choices for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the sun is shining on Fat Train right now. He's happy. Kevin Martin, you're gonna be happy too, my friend. Let's get you back to land, Train. Get you in bed. Thanks, buddy. Good to be back on land man it's good to be fucking back on land uh, it was intense i mean intense is an understatement you know standing above looking over the ocean looking over the water anything's possible this is easy it's here to there right when you get in the water and the only thing above the water is this much of your head and there's huge waves that are just crashing in your face hitting your eyes salt water in your eyes huge gulps of seawater and seaweed constantly it's intense, man. It is so much more intense. The hardest part was the first 15, 20 minutes. I was considering in my head, like, is this gonna happen? Do I actually have to back out of this bed or quit? It was in the first 15 minutes. We did it, guys. We did it. He made it look fucking easy. I'm absolutely mind blown. He almost made it look so easy that I think I could do it, and I fucking suck at swimming. Uh, so it was a feat that a lot of people wouldn't be able to accomplish, and uh, I fucking did it. <laughs> Well, he didn't die, which is a bit disappointing, but congratulations to Train. You did good, bud. Trains don't rust in water, guys. Come on, Train! I'm so happy and thankful that I have my best friend back in the house. Train is irreplaceable to me, and I was a little bit nervous with that choppy water, so good job, Train. Yeah, before you say anything, before, before I learn the results, I just want to say I'm proud of you for accepting the mission, and I believe in you. Yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, dude, I really appreciate you having the blind faith. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't have the best news for you to be real with you, dude. Um, it's, it's kind of sucks, but uh, you're gonna have to collect that, you're gonna have to collect that perky money, baby, cause we did it. Yeah, I'm so oh, you got me, dude. I was, uh, you actually, I was gonna be like, dude, it's okay, it's fine, you tried, but we got him. We got him, dude. That perky money is so sweet. So you need to get your happy ass out here to the island, cause we're going to dinner. All right, trying that's for you, buddy. Yeah. If you guys like what you see here, like, comment, subscribe. We are just getting started. Plenty more possible death scenarios coming down the pipeline. See what we got next.